Just pop this out. And I think we finally have some silver right here. Large scent. Looks like it's probably going to be a braided hair. 1964. Out of Philly. All right. Another one. That's cool. cool. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Rick from Hunting Southwest Ohio, and we are finally back for episode number 16 of the Quarter Hunt and Fill series. You guys probably thought I forgot about it. I have been nearly two months with nothing but uncirculated boxes. We finally got a circulated one, so I am super excited to get into this hunt, hoping to fill some more spots in the albums. We're currently at 248 of 376 spots filled. The last episode we had that mega quarter box with eight silver quarters in it, which was amazing. So hopefully we can squeak one out of this and a W would be fantastic. So let's get into this one, see what we can add to the albums. We're looking for silver, obviously, errors, varieties, W quarters, foreigns, or anything else cool we can find. Hopefully we'll see you pretty quick with a first find. Roll 14. I don't know that it's going to be silver. We got an odd edge. The reading sort of looks right. Let's see what we have here. Oh, there's something I don't recall seeing before. It is going to be a foreign. And it is going to be a... I believe that is a Dominican Republic. Give me just a second to look up this uh, coin real quick. I'll be right back with you. All right, we are back. Yes, this is the Dominican Republic. This is the Mirabel sisters that are on the front of the coin. And this was actually minted at the Royal Canadian Mint. And that is what happened in 1986. That's where it was minted. There was about 10.1 million of these made, so... Low number compared to our coinage, but not worth a whole bunch. It is copper nickel. Metal, uh, just like our quarters are. So, pretty cool find. I'll take it. Never found one before. Always love finding the foreigns. Nice. Roll 23. And here's something I haven't found in a while. We got us a S Mint, NIFC, or Business Strike. I will take that. There's the S Mint mark. And there is the Ozark Riverways 2017. Love that. I love finding these. Roll 39. Just peeled this one open. And I think right there, we may have a shiny. And we do. 1964. Out of Philly. Silver in the box. That is awesome. Love it. Roll 42. And look what just popped out of this one. Right there it is. There is that W and the beautiful V75 on the left. And we're going to have a 2020 Weir Farms. Love to see it. We have a W, a silver, a foreign, an S mint. We got it all happening. On to the next roll. All right, box one is done, and it was a pretty good one. We ended up with a foreign from the Dominican Republic. We had the S Mint. We had a silver quarter, 1964 Philly. And we had the Weir Farms W, as well as a bunch of possible album upgraders or additions. And I did have... The 2015 Homestead with a little snow on the roof. So we're going to go ahead and get into another box. Got one here. I normally don't get this kind of box very often. Don't necessarily have great luck with them. But I can tell from the holes in the bottom it is circulated. So we're going to give a whirl here at doing a live opening. We don't get to do these much. And we will see if we have any goodies in here. Oh, if it'll open it's a tough one. There we go. All right. Well, 
I don't see anything too exciting on the top. So let's get into them, see what we find. Roll number seven. And we got one there that is the right color. Reading looks wrong. I'm guessing a Canadian or some other foreign. Let's see what we got. Yep, it will be a Canadian. I actually have not found a Canadian quarter in a while. And it is going to be a 1988. We'll take it. All right, we're back. Box three is in front of us right here. I'm going to pop this open, which I did when I picked it up from the bank. It's going to be a little bit of a different box. Uh, this has some of the Ida Vidar quarters in it. Uh, several uncirculated rolls. I had some people on my stream that wanted some of these, so I am actually have these all sold. I'm going to pull them aside, and then we're going to hunt what's left, because about three quarters of the box is circulated. There's about two rows of the Ida Vidar quarter, so I'm going to go ahead, get them pulled out, and then we're going to jump into the hunt, looking for the same as usual. Silver, errors, varieties, foreigns, proofs, anything else cool we can find, we'll be looking for all that good stuff. So let me get these pulled out, and I'm going to start the hunt, bring you back in on the first find of box three. All right, this is going to be roll five of the box. I did pull 19 rolls out with the new Vita quarters on them. Pulled those aside, so we started out the hunt with 31 rolls out of this box. Just popped this one open. Got an oddball. I believe this will be a Canadian, just based on the reading. And it will. And it is going to be a 1975 Canada. Roll number 11 of this 31 roll hunt. And we looks like we are going to have it again that is looking like another canadian reading's not right a little bit smaller diameter and let's see what we have yep it is a canadian and this time it will be a 1989 all right roll 20 of this 31 roll hunt just working my way through this roll and I went to flip this one over. I completely missed it. We got ourselves a silver. And it is going to be a 1964. I believe that is going to be a Denver. Yes, it is. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, I just didn't see it. It's not as white as normal. And with those clads, it just did not stand out, but I will take that. Second silver of the hunt. Love it. All right, box three is done. We did pick up a silver, which was awesome. Unfortunately, no other Ws. Picked up a couple more Canadians, and I did stack up quite a few quarters that are... The state quarters that are in very, very nice shape. There's a few more up here. They're kind of mixed in. I was pulling them out as I went. So we're going to go ahead, grab the albums, see if we can get lucky after we wrapped up this three-box hunt and get a few additions. That would be awesome. So here are the albums right here. 248, a 376. Let me go ahead. We're going to start with album number one. See if we got anything to add. Be back with our first edition, hopefully. All right, we're back actually with album two. And this is our 1948 through 64D. And we will have an addition. We do not have a 64D yet. We got one in that last box. Go ahead, pop this one in. Another spot filled. On to the next album. All right, album number three will be our 1965. Through 1987, we will have a upgrade. We are going to upgrade the Philadelphia Bicentennial with a much nicer one. I'll go ahead and swap that out, and we will move to the next album. All right, album number three, which is our 1988, excuse me, album number four, 1988 through 1998. 
We will have an upgrade. We're going to upgrade the 1994D, much nicer one that we found in this box. So go ahead, swap that one out, and we'll move to album five. All right, we are back with album six. We had nothing in album five. This is our 2004 through 2008, and we're going to have two more editions. I love it. 2005 Denver, and we're going to have a 2005D Oregon. A couple more spots filled. On to the next album. All right, album eight, we had nothing for album seven. This is a 2010 through 2015 album, and we're going to be adding a 2010D Yosemite, fourth edition. Love to see it. One more to go. Maybe we can add another. All right, we are back. Another great hunt. Three and about three quarter boxes, roughly. And that's going to now put us at 252 of 376. Picked up four more spots, which is absolutely awesome. And in front of us, we got the treasure chest sitting here. So we're going to go ahead and add a silver quarter to the chest. Another addition. And I grabbed a stand-in. And we got our two quarters that we found for the 2023 silver jar. Appreciate everybody coming along. Hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you on the next one.